What's up, y'all? So this week's episode is a little different. I decided to kind of break it up, change the way that I do things and my approach. So typically when I go into making these videos, the idea is to say, hey, I want to make a video today and block out, you know, three, four, five hours of time, go out, make photographs, have a video. Obviously you got to edit and all that good stuff, but the bulk of the content is done. Right. And that's nice. There's pros and there's cons to that. You know, obviously the pro is that you're done. You went out, you got your content, you're done. And the con to that though, it's not a huge con, but you tend to shoot for the video, right? So I'm not necessarily shooting what I honestly would shoot, right? Or there may be times where I would have stopped shooting or I wouldn't have taken certain photos, but I'm taking them for the sake of the video and the exercise of making the video not neither good nor neither good or bad like i don't have an opinion but i wanted to um approach it from let's not worry about making a video let's just make photos make the photos that you would typically make no pressure and this was nice i, I enjoyed it and so much so that it i really didn't know that i was going to actually make a video out of any of these photos i did for keepsake make some b-roll along the way when i would see a photo that i liked just in case and by like day three which you'll understand a little bit more i kind of wanted to make a video out of all the photos after the snowstorm i knew that i wanted to make a video and then that's kind of when i kind of got back in video mode which was like let's just make photos real quick so we can get this roll back and let's put out a youtube episode because it's time needless to say i hope you guys enjoyed this episode we start off in kingston new york upstate and uh i'll tune back in a second So most of these photos basically take place over the Saturday, over the weekend that we spent in upstate in Kingston. And honestly, on a drive headed to get brunch. And along that drive, I saw two to three photos that I wanted to take and that kind of got the juices flowing. Even so much so that Ari wanted to get in on the fun and she took a couple snaps herself. She had a role that she had to finish off. So she snapped away and gave us some photos. So I also wanted to highlight her work as well. Just a few, but it's nice. We'll be showing more of her work in the next coming months. So once we got back to New York on Monday, it was a snowstorm and it got crazy. And there's a lot of photographers going out and shooting that day. And I was like, oh, I wanna go. I really wanna get out there. And I didn't, I just didn't. So I went out Tuesday and luckily enough, I actually got a little bit of light snow. The temp and the actual feel was, it was pretty cold. It was actually not great conditions. And after a while it became kind of challenging conditions once the snow started to come down a little bit harder. But it was nice to kind of get out there and kind of document a little bit of what it looked like last week when it was snowing. All right, so at this point, I'm at this phase where I actually wanna finish up and I wanna put out a video. And I still had this roll left from shooting the snowstorm. I had some photos left on there. And one of the homies, Jason, hit me up and was like, hey man, what are you, what are you doing? You wanna go shoot? And I was like, lucky enough, I'm actually trying to finish off a roll. What's up? And he's like, meet me over here at the tram that goes over Roosevelt Island 
let's take some photos. So I was like, perfect, let's do it. We linked up for like a quick couple hours. Really cool dude, can't wait to do more stuff with him in the future. We headed over to Roosevelt Island, we walked, we talked, and it was a great vibe. And I captured some of my favorite photos of this entire, well, I captured the favorite photo, which is the photo of the subway in bar but the light was so dramatic as you can see it hit in the side of the building and how it's really shadowy on the on the front side and then luckily enough the lights to this to the bar were already on which made it actually even better and the blues are pretty intense it almost looks like it was shot on ectochrome that's why i, I really like this shot anyway All right, y'all, so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I wanna thank you so much for always tapping in and checking out these videos. If you aren't subscribing already, please hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you enjoyed it. There will be plenty of these along the way, and I have some fun stuff in store in the future um, really, really soon. So uh, if you're into what's happening here, you know, check out some old stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.